now let's look at uh, the syntactical arrangements to understand style a little better. So I'm going, I'm taking you through M.H. Abrams Glossary of Literary Terms, where uh, this is a section, uh, this is a part of the section called style. So he talk, talks about the periodic sentence where uh, the members, he calls the phrases members, and he says the different parts of the sentence are so composed that uh, the uh, noun is suspended till the very end. And uh, the last word of the sentence is uh, the noun and the meaning remains hung and the structure remains hung till you reach the last sentence. So that is why he calls it a periodic sentence, a period meaning full stop. So actually uh, you keep waiting till you reach the full stop or the period to understand the full in, uh, effect of the uh, sentence or the full intent of the sentence. So uh, he gives us this example uh, from, uh, the, uh, it's actually uh, the opening sentence of James Boswell's Life of Samuel Johnson. You can see this is the work he's referring to and it's uh, published in 1791. And now let's look at the sentence he is talking about. To write the life of him who excelled all mankind in writing the lives of others and who, whether we consider his extraordinary endowments or his various works has been equaled by few in any age is an arduous and may be reckoned in me a presumptuous task. Now, if you look at this sentence, it starts with two and the noun comes at the very end, task. So actually, if we were to uh, eliminate all the phrases that come in between, uh, which add to the length of this very complex and complicated looking sentence. Uh, the base sentence which we would get was to write the life of him, uh, which means to write about Samuel Johnson, because he's writing about uh, the life of Samuel Johnson. So to write the life of him is an arduous and a presumptuous task. But here we have lots of phrases uh, starting with relative pronouns like who and then you have a connector over here or his various works, right? Uh, so that is what a periodic sentence is. So if you look at the syntactic structure, uh, it is very formal. It is very long. It requires a certain kind of linguistic competence to be able to understand the sentence. You need to have a certain level of language proficiency. Uh, now let's contrast this with the non-periodic or the loose sentence, which is by its nature, a more relaxed, more conversational, more uh, simple language. And in this, the component members, which means the phrases, the groups of words are continuous, but so loosely joined that the sentence would have been syntactically complete if a period had been inserted at one or more places. So it is just loosely joined phrases. In fact, if you put a full stop in between, uh, the, the sentences could have been broken. Uh, the one long sentence could have been broken into shorter sentences. That's what he means by this. So here we have an example by Joseph Addison and Spectator. Uh, describing the limited topics in the conversation of a man about town or dilettante. And it could have closed at several points in the sequence of their component clauses, right? So we're going to look at this sentence and uh, understand it better as to why it is called a non-periodic sentence and how it differs from the periodic sentence in the next video.